Hi everybody, welcome to a new series of tutorials on spacecraft granular synth from Mark Watt. Um, before I start, I have a number of codes to give away courtesy of Mark. So if you would like to participate to, give, to the giveaway, just please uh, follow the instruction in the video description and also check, as usual, the comments in the comment section to see if the giveaway is still running or if the winners have been announced. So let's start. Um, in this first video, I'm going to give you a, an overview, really, of spacecraft. So first of all, it's um, a it's, um, fantastic app because uh, it has it gives you a lot of, uh, of uh, flexibility, really, in the way that um, you, you can run it. Effectively, you can turn anything like um, uh, any input which you might have recorded or imported as a sound wave file into an instrument itself. Um, of course, using a granular synth. So as you can see, here is the interface is split into two. Uh, so this top part here and which is replicated at the bottom, but with, with of course, different waveforms. Um, Controls are really straightforward, so I'm going to give you just uh, an overview. You have um, uh, yeah, the settings to further customize some of the behavior in the, in the user interface, but also to introduce things like you might want envelope on, on, off. It supports MPE, uh, and I, I should have said is an AUV3, works as an IAA, a standalone, etc. So it's really good. So here is where you can set all your different settings. You can choose what the input is. So you can record from a microphone. You can uh, import also a WAV file, as I mentioned. And you can also here select a number of presets um, from what comes uh, factually installed, which which is really nice. Here you have the view of the waveform, and you can move. And as you can see, to explore that waveform in more details, you can see this is changing in this area. And you can, again, uh, zoom in that particular area as you prefer. That is important in terms of um, um, exploring the sound because then you will trigger here on this screen uh, the plane of, um, of grains for granular synth. Um, here you have a um, help button, really straightforward, and um, it's great. To learn how to use so you can see straight away here it tells you how the window works here in terms of uh, exploring the sample as i just mentioned a moment ago but also changing uh, um, the volume etc and so you can see uh, how the application works using that uh, simple help menu um, so on so why don't we start to actually listen to what it sounds like so you have to you have to click on one note and this is the original note for the sample as you can see you can reduce the volume here moving up and down you can explore the waveform moving left and right and you can see the grains being played now there are a number of settings of course which you can apply uh, here, for example, you can decide how uh, if the grains are shorter or longer. And also moving it towards up if the frequency of the grains would be increased. So, for example, if we go something like that, you have longer grains, medium frequency, okay? You have an LFO here, which you can apply. And again, the settings are very simple. The help menu will explain that. But you can set how uh, the depth of movement and also how quickly it will move, okay? Which is really nice in terms of exploring through granular synth, different sounds, okay? And here you have uh, additional settings where you can apply a low pass filter or a high pass filter, and you can add or reduce reverb. Here is where you can play different notes. And by the way, you can select different notes through scales, which has been defined for the settings here. But um, 
You can also use a MIDI input, which I'll show you in a moment, to play those and therefore use, the, use it as an instrument, just to give you an example. And then here you have also selection for fine, coarse, and also, sorry, for coarse um, pitch, fine pitch, and also ring modulation here. Um, you can replicate these underneath uh, on another waveform, which you can load, which um, becomes really powerful in that way. And, um, uh, and you can also play them in three individual notes. Okay, and the beauty uh, is, uh, as I explained a moment ago, is that you can use uh, um, a controller, a MIDI controller. In this case, I'm inside the AUM, and um, and uh, let's make the connection. Here we go. Then, therefore, you can uh, use um, um, spacecraft as an instrument. So, as you can see, really, really nice, uh, um, straightforward, easy to use. Uh, a granular synth and um, which gives you unlimited possibility in terms of uh, um, sound creation okay i hope you enjoyed the introduction and overview of spacecraft and i see you at the next tutorial thank you bye